I thought it was legit. What did you think? I think Jeff Ross is full of it. I think he was going to go there, and you watch Brady. He hears Kraft's name. He starts to become uncomfortable. He un, un, unbuttons the, the, the jacket and sort of, sort of slides on the chair a little bit, and he's looking and waiting. And then the massage thing came, and then he stood up, rebuttoned it, whispered in his ear, cut that, we're not going to cut that S out, okay? And then he didn't go there. He didn't continue. Nobody did after that point. I think that I heard him with a shout out to Mr. Kraft. Love you. Love what you do, what you're doing for the Jewish people. Um, and I guarantee you they had a talk afterwards about what a great thing Robert's doing, trying to eliminate hate in the world and, um, and sticking up for Israel and all that. And I think that was 100% genuine. I think Jeff Ross is covering up that Brady was pissed. I think if we could have seen Robert at the time, I bet Brady was more upset than Robert was. They didn't show Robert. Uh, I wonder why. You think he was mad? Or you think he got no, a but I think it? you're, you're kind of holding your breath going there because you know everything's on the table, right? Unless Robert really helped him with some stuff like videos, requests to get guys there that I'm going to help you with all this. Just don't talk about Florida, Okay. And maybe that was agreed upon. I don't know that. I bet he got a chuckle out of it and was like, whatever. I bet Brady was more upset than Robert on this. I think the less that thing's talked about, the happier they are down there. When you say they, though, you're talking who? Robert himself? Like, don't you talk about that? Or, uh, think, or all the people that work for him? I think everybody works. It's all the people that work for him. Give the guy a little bit of credit. He like probably that. has a I, little bit of a yeah. sense of humor about the I whole thing. I think you probably should. No, Yeah, I mean... To Zoe's point, right? though, it's such low-hanging fruit. The fact that no one brought it up again for the rest of the roast when you got how how many Giselle jokes? Like how many crypto? How like, many uh, Hernandez jokes? His sisters got got named multiple right. times. So how did, like, how did they not go after Tara Reid? I don't think a lot of people know See, or that, remember that. So, it's so long ago. Yeah. I mean, Andrew Schultz couldn't even figure out if Brady had been divorced sure, once right. or right. twice, Lawyers. or if he was going right. through a divorce. Right. Like he didn't even have his facts straight on what he's up to. I just, that, this is like this is huge for them. People are still talking about it after it. Like this is such good publicity. I thought the Bridget Moynihan mentions were kept to a minimum. Yeah, what, and she put out some weird posts too on social media. Oh, she's something, upset as well. Something dark about trust in that, oh. and it's just a blank page. It was a black page, but it was a comment about trust and people that you trust don't do certain things. I don't know. Bridget Moynihan shared a quote about loyal people. That's what it was about. Yeah. Yep. I thought they were on good terms. Yeah, I thought, thought so too. Great terms. Like, yeah. To the point they go back like to New York and he spends time with her, with him, with Jack. I don't know. I think well, it's good to get the kids out of it. I I do. Yeah, no, you know, it's garbage. Kids didn't kids. choose to be put in it. Like, you're the players in it. You're Brady. You're Giselle. You chose to do what you guys did. I think the jokes about him losing his family and being a terrible father and all that stuff, like, you know it's not true. Right. But right. but it's a funny joke. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know that's not actually the case. But it is what, it was what happens ultimately, at a roast. Ultimately, it's a roast. Ultimately, when it's over, it's, yeah. it's words. And if you can't sit there and talk to your kids after this, if one of them does get upset or somebody reads something, and, then Jesus. So anyway, we got to go back to what we were talking about here with... Robert and the joke about the massage, and was he legitimately pissed? Jeff Ross says no, he wasn't. You know, he's just like he's covering for Brady. He's, he's full of it, having fun. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't really see that. If you were having fun, he just laugh at it. Well, Jeff Ross is such a badass. Why didn't he go back at it then? And or as Tim McCone points nice out, it's such low hanging fruit. Why didn't anybody else mention it? Here's what Drew Bledsoe had to say about this. No, this no, that was uh, that was an authentic moment, man. We're we're we're, we're we're sitting up there on the uh, we're sitting up on the stage, so I can see the teleprompter. I can see what's scripted and what's not, and that was not scripted. Tom came up to uh, make sure they weren't uh, getting after uh, our buddy RKK. Um, he's 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 a guy that both Tom and I have true and genuine affection for. Um, I didn't think he was going to be there. I didn't know he was going to be there until just before the show last night, um, just specifically so they would stay out of that you know stay out of some of that stuff. Uh, with him, but no, that was not scripted. That was Tom actually genuinely coming to his uh, coming to his defense. I, I believe these guys as as opposed to the joke writers. Like, I that, trust that Drew is, Bledsoe. That is one hundred percent Drew Bledsoe not telling a lie right there. 
That was on uh, Julian Edelman's podcast that he. That was on uh, Levitar. Oh, Le- sorry, Dan Levitar show. Man, Drew has been everywhere except this show this week. Should we get him on? Don't we get him on? What day? Uh, we've been we've been busy. Today would have been the right day for it. So <laughs> ah, forget it. We'll, we'll catch up with him soon. Bye, Bye Drew. He'll be back in town selling wine any day now. Yep. I think we get him on all the time. Yeah. He's hot right now. He's yeah. hot. It's yeah. not scarf. But he's right there. Like yet. he's telling you the truth right there. I saw the prompter. We. I was surprised he was there. And you've been with him, and you know how he talks about Robert. Oh yeah. I've seen it's different different territory there with those two guys. Yep. And the fact they didn't go back to it because they kept going back to the Brady wife jokes. You know they steered clear of it after that. So I think it was. Yeah. I think it was legitimate. I think Jeff Ross is lying for Tom Brady. I was thinking of Bledsoe's involvement in the whole thing. Do you think the wider audience has an appreciation for him being there? Yes. I, I think you got to remember how big of a star he was in the league when he first was yeah. in the league. He did yeah. a good job of setting it up, too. Like, he figured yeah. it out early on. Like, oh, oh, he lost his job to Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. The, like, the intro is there. phenomenal. Yeah. Any football fan knows exactly yeah. who he is. Yeah. Yes. So... No, I, I think his involvement it's, was entirely appropriate. And it, it could have been so much better given Matt Light the mic, but the problem was how many people know Matt Light? Like, people knew Edelman. People That's why we had to listen to Randy Moss. Moss. I know. I know. And Randy, Randy don't look comfortable up there. Like, when the jokes were cracking and Randy saw that he was, like, on, on camera, that's, like, the one that, ooh, I got to smile. I don't think he was too happy with the jokes and stuff. Hey, if you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand right here. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.